Well, hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> uh, not doing much today, but uh, I got stuff done in the shop, and uh, I figured I would explain the traction bar situation to you, because, well, we'll get to it in a minute. Uh, but, hey, let's head out here to the wrecking yard. All right. And let's see what's going on. So we got these traction bars. And we got these traction bars. These traction bars are a lot better than these traction bars. But, here we go. Let's see if I can explain this to you. These traction bars that Jason sent me uh yeah they're there this plate's a little off and this tube is a little big for the s10 uh to replace the shock mount and you know the stuff that sandwiches the springs and stuff on there we did cut you know all the stuff off for the shock mount because we're going to have to well, shock mount to the inside and they all go right here. I guess I can move it up to here and get me a little more room. But the problem with that little S10 is the bolt holes has got to be like let me, like right up against that bar. And uh, I was I still think I'm right but me and Lars was talking, I said, I think I can just spread them U-bolts out, man, and everything's great. And he goes, no, they gotta be right up in there to hold everything. So, I did, you know, a little more research on that one. But, yes, that, these I want on there. Anything you can bolt to a darn, you know, spring and have it sitting there solid. But I was looking around on Marketplace and I found these. $25. I had to drive for a little bit, but I got them. Uh, you know, just your uni usual universals. Um, but for a quick fix, this is going to work. Because uh, you can, you know, slide them around, do what you need to to get the angles, you know. Uh, and then we got, you know, three or four little holes here. Let me, let me get you down there. Three or four little holes here. We can put the snubber where we need to. Uh, again, not the best, but in a pink. So, what we're fixing to do, guys, is uh, just clean these off. and uh, Let's see what they look like. I, I, I was thinking red, paint them red. Anyway, paint them red and then when I got there they was chrome I'm like they had a little splash of chrome underneath that truck with them QA1s and it might look alright uh hang on here we go oh may have forgot this just, just some uh full alt steel wool and some Dawn dishwasher with me Ugh, two of them. There we go. Now, well, first coat. They're coming around, right? Uh, not really worried about it too much. We just need traction. But uh, we'll let them dry off when we hit them again. And, uh, you know, all this kind of crap right here. Who cares? Only person gonna see this thing is the person laying under it, and that's gonna be me. But uh, let's clean them off one more time. If they ain't really stick under there. Okay, this time we're gonna go a little more in depth and get down in these corners and you know make it shine the best we can. But let's get back on the time lapse.
All right. Second time around. All right. I think they look good. Uh, now, let's hit the other one and we'll set them next to each other and let you see them. All right, guys, there they are. Uh, like I said, I ain't worried about none of that stuff. We just, I really ain't worried about none of it. Uh, we just need some traction bars. Uh, but 25 bucks, you know, a little drive time. Why not? Uh, we'll just see how it works. Right here. <clears throat> Maybe I need to do a little uh, talk about this. Let's set this one right here next to him. All right, hang on. Okay. Far superior, far better. It's going to get traction control no matter what. These, they're aftermarket, you know, universal, and you just got to slide them around. You get the snubbers where you want them, and yada, 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 yada. And most of the time, they won't go forward far enough to actually put the snubbers where you want. So... Then you gotta start adjusting through these holes and adding shins or bigger snubbers. Right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. You can get it figured out. Uh, but you can buy these. I looked at them brand new. They was like $68 plus shipping. These, I don't know if somebody made or whatever. But dude, Anytime you can clamp a hold of a spring and then anchor it to the ass end of that, sorry, the rear end, dude, that thing ain't doing nothing but just maybe an eighth of an inch. Far superior, quick, right? All right, guys, uh, we got both of them up under here. Uh, we're about, about a quarter inch off the spring. And of course, you can't get it dang thing where you want it to, where it just hits on that piece right there. It's off the side a little bit, but uh, we got them. Now, what we had to do to adjust these things in, I mean, you can see it over there. All right, let me zoom you in. That's about a half. This is about three eighths. But we had what we had to do uh, to actually get these things under here. We had to add about an inch and eight spacer under here. Uh, I ain't got back. I, I think I'm gonna take a tack wheel and put to the spacer we put under here, and uh, just make sure. That thing, I, I don't think it'll fall out, but just make sure, right? Uh, but yeah, they don't look bad, all right? But I hope you like this one, man. I'm gonna just, you know, I went and bought them, I sold them real technician Troy gave me, and I spent the whole $50. I bought them, paid gas, you know, so. <sighs> but when I got looking at them, traction bars that Jason sent me it's going to take a little bit more work than what I had entailed uh, so yeah I'll stick them on there next year and I'll save these hell I might put them on that little blazer because you know 0 to 30 is hard to get to <laughs> but anyway I hope you got something out of this um, that's what we've been uh, what well, I've been doing today um Still working on the little trash truck. We'll get it. Um, heck, it's done. I just, we got to get it to stick. But anyway, hope you got something out of this. Everybody home is safe. Uh, watch out for them loose lug nuts. I don't have one around me right now. And we'll see y'all in the next one.